The centre of the ground for a long screw punt, a chance for McKenzie. Over the top, Corns. Oh, beautiful mark. Over the top of McKenzie. Set himself. Let McKenzie can take the front spot. And another one of those typical marks from... Uh... Towards centre half forward. Stasinowski brought the pack down. Tricky Corball. Good play, Corball. On to Corns. Corns a left footer. And that's his second goal. Not a bad looking kick down towards centre half forward. Corns. A typical Graham Corns mark. That's the second time today that he's pulled in a, a one hander. Out of their seats. And bringing the ball back into play. It's a good 55. Look at that. Oh, oh that's incredible. That really is. That's magnificent. There you saw it, Corns on the back of Bagshaw and Bagshaw a bit ginger when he gets up, gingerly gets up off that ground, that hurt a little bit. Back into play, geez, a good kick this lad, he kicks it towards the half, back flank, oh, oh that, Corns again, oh, oh. crikey, he's an incredible leaper. Across there, Marker couldn't take it, but well read off the pack there by Voigt. Voigt drives it down ground and Kerry takes the mark. Plays on quickly, on it goes towards Corns. Corns has a look at the goals, a long blazing kick, and it's a beautiful passage to play. Well, he's had a touch of Tim at various times in his life. There he goes, kick three. Oh, that left foot's dropped it in the square. Oh, there's the mark. Oh. Big carry, Corns over the top, took the spring, right in the square. Freddie Phyllis' kick dropping straight down, and Graham Corns up in the air like a rocket. Could not miss from there, dead in front. Well, he's played a good, useful game. Bang, and he just capped it off with a nice goal after a wonderful mark. That's the second goal to Corns. Towards the centre of the ground. Tapped on there by Marker. Marker to Kerry. Clever football down to Bennett. On finds Corns. 35 metres out. Shouldn't have this one, Graham Corns. And he doesn't. Through it goes for six points. Three goals, Graham Corns. And the Bay's doing as they please now. Right out in a couple of quarters in the middle of the game. But good first quarter. And he's picked up his game and playing well in this last quarter. He nearly kicked the distance from here, Peter Marker, as he pushes it right towards the square. Corns is down there. Over the top. Corns gets possession. The ball has a snap. It's not a bad kick, I tell you what, that's the goal of the day. Goal of the day and a half, double grab, not paid the mark, pulls it back over his shoulder like a rover. Graham Corns. Hammond was on the lead, but it's Corns oh. behind, what a mark! Being more sprightly than we saw him early in the season. Here's Obst again from the half-back line to half-forward. Corns, they're hanging on to him. Mark and free kick. We're looking more sprightly than we saw him early in the season. Here's Obst again from the half-back line to half-forward. Corns, they're hanging on to him. Mark and free kick. In the square bar, Corn. Ricks came into medium. He's kicked at the full forward spot. Oh, Corn's a great leap. Used Stasinovsky as a step ladder. And is he going to take the mark away? I thought for a moment he was. They would have probably. Oh, no way. Down. No way he could take Well, that I'd away. agree with you, but I thought the way he went in, I thought, my heavens, if he takes this off, the blades, that'll be the end. arguing with him and telling him what happened to him. Everyone could see what happened. He couldn't leap. Hopping's a pretty slick customer, usually tries to find a Guernsey and does so. A brilliant like slick that. fieldsman mark from Graham Corn. Beautifully placed kick by Copping then, right out in front of Corns. Driving towards a half forward flank. Corns over the top and you'll never see anything like that again. River to Twiggy Corball who can kick the ball over long distances and this is going right to the right area of Corns. You can see that as plain as day. And Hand pass. Peter Daniel with a kick out for Tasmania, wide to the half-back oh, flank, there's a good mark. mark. And that's going to Corns. <laughs> Casey, hand pass comes over to White, couldn't control it, picked up there by Gaby. But it's Russell Ebert with the ball now, left foot kick from Ebert. Corns is down in the forward pocket and from behind, that's a good grab. Top the lollies, back to Millard. Millard over the top of his shoulder, kicks down ground, looks for Corns, a half volley oh, mark. Yeah. That'll go yeah, close to the mark of the day. Oh dear, anybody else doesn't get anywhere near. Here's Corns running in under the ball now with Nat. Great oh. mark. Back into this. Winters kick towards a half-back flank. Davies and Corns, that's a good mark. And Corns is out manoeuvring, out marking and out playing Davies at the moment. Very good mark. Look at Dylan on his own in the square. Roberts's kick is on its way. It looks fairly smart from here. Corns went backwards and what oh. a mark that is. Fine. Amazing. Amazing. How he 
Please throw that ball, no one will ever know. Carey comes after him, Bob Hammond again, went without the ball, Sash goes down, picked up by Marriott. Marriott hooks it up in front of the goals, he's caught! Oh, what a oh, for the leap of the season! He's 25, 30 metres from the goal, 45 degree angle, and if he can kick this to Bays, the back in front, and, his own, and that'll put him in front by a point. Wally. Well, he's got to do it. If you can mark like that and kick straight and win a grand final, you'll never ever forget it. All the strain on number 12. Hasn't, Every bit of strain. What's hasn't called? kicked the goal all day, Wally. I'll hasn't kicked the goal all day. 29 for the season. Can he make it 30? It's a heart failure finish. He's back to three. And the base goes back to the front. We've had five minutes of time on. The base in front. What do you think now? It's still not over. This centre bounce is still going to have a lot to do with it. One kick makes it a draw, or one kick wins it. And Darkness from Davis to Matthews is on. Matthews gets away, a short kick over. Corn's a good mark. Beauty. And that was... Marriott, who's been spent... Oh, look at that leap. Oh, that was beautiful. The colossal corns. Millard kicks high. Sandlin was on the lead, but it's Corn oh. from behind. What a mark. Millard kicks high, Sandlin was on the lead, but it's gone oh. from behind, what a mark! What a mark! Flew out of sight! By Carl Club here. Back now with Button and leaping over the top was Dempsey, taken by Keddie. Keddie's kick is taken across here by Corns, he goes home. A long kick right down towards the square, Big Farnham's back there, Thompson will go through for goal! Still on that. Tap down again, a lot of players down there making it easy for Victoria to clear through Hardeman and up to the half-back line, good mark by Corns. Oh, he was inclined to handball on them, but didn't make them. Well, there were 1,673 people here at Football Park this afternoon. Corns, what a mark! What a beauty! Over the years, you've seen Graham Corns take mark after mark like that, and that was as good as you've ever seen Graham Corns go. Coming towards the grandstand side, looking for Weston. Granger there also. Corns! Magnificent mark, Graham Corns. Quiet in the first half at centre half back, well beaten by David Granger. Here it is in replay. Corns, eyes on the ball, typical Corns mark. Had two and a half minutes of time on. Oh, up went the elbow. Graham Corns coming through again. Fends off Olsen, kicks out on the full. And it'll be a free kick. There's Graham Corns in your screen. Thanks, and the, oh, <laughs> there he is, giving Queen's a wave. wave to the Norwood supporters here in the stand. Glances up again, make sure there's nothing coming his way. Oh, there's a free kick being made at quarter to Graham Corns. Carmen tells the uh, umpire Schofield all about it too. Nord fans not too happy, he's kicked in the man on the mark. Oh, down they go, Carmen Corns, and they both met it, and there's Carmen pushing Corns' face into the mud.